All right, this is a video on how to enable Wireless N on your Droid Incredible. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Magic Android Apps from XDA Developers. He's the one that sh uh, gave the instructions on how to do this. I just follow his instructions, so it's his method. All right, what I'm going to have is I currently have a Wireless N router. It's actually a dual band router. Uh, not like that matters, though, because this phone doesn't support uh, 5 gigahertz. It only supports 2.4. So what I'm going to do here is all the way in the bottom, I don't know if you can see that or not. Actually, let me go on my phone real quick. As you can see, the f very f uh, middle option, this one right here, it says connected. I'm sorry if it's not focusing correctly, but it says connected. Okay? And what I'm going to do is, it's currently in mix mode. I'm going to set it up to wireless and only. Hit save settings. What's gonna actually going to do, it's actually going to drop my connection. It's automatically going to kick into the 5 gigahertz connection, or the 5 gigahertz, uh, uh, radio or whatever it's, it's called. I'm sorry, drew a blank there. <laughs> it's automatically going to kick me off on my laptop as well. At least it should have. Maybe it didn't. Uh, maybe it just transferred correctly. Okay, anyways, uh, what I'm going to have to do is um, there's a zip file. Unzip it. There should be two files. Uh, copy the .ko file. Set your phone up for uh, disk drive. I actually have it currently connected to my laptop, so set it up as disk drive. Okay. And then all you have to do is drop that file into your SD card. You can push it with a uh, ADB push, but this is actually a lot easier. So just uh, just drop it in here, paste it. This is the root of my SD card. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is when that's done, just open up the commands.txt, and the very first thing is uh, just place a file on the SD card. Once that's done, open up command prompt, go into your uh, SD folder or the tools folder so I'm going to type in CD sorry CD SDK CD tools all you have to do is get into ADB recovery whatever method you use it's, it's fine oh as, as you can also tell once I switched it to the five uh, I'm sorry to wireless and only it see it's not connecting anymore and it actually won't connect so we're gonna turn off the phone we're just gonna run the loop dot bat this is the method I used on my 10-minute uh, video, so just look at that if you need help. I'm not going to go through the like full instructions on that, so I'm just going to open up the a little command I'm going to need for my um to get into ADB recovery. All right, now what I'm going to do is make sure the cord is connected to the computer. I'm going to use a loop method, so hold down volume and hit power. Wait for the screen to turn on. All right, now let go. Once it verifies the file doesn't exist, it's going to error out in a bit. I'm sorry for the poor focusing. This is actually an anti-glare screen I currently have on it, so it's really hard as hell. Alright, um, select the second option, recovery. Sorry about that. Like I said, I'm actually using an anti-glare screen right now, so that's why it looks so bad. Alright, it's going to get you there. Looks like it didn't go through, so I'm going to pull out the battery and I'm going to try again. That's going to pull out the core too. Alright, we're going to try that again. Like I said, all you have to try to get, to get into recovery mode. All right, it's going to error out. All right, now select the second option by hitting volume down and hold it down and then hit power. You don't have to do it like this. I just sometimes I find this works actually better, so. Looks like it didn't go through again. Oh, this is great. Hold down volume, hit power again. Should go through this time. It's, it's never taken me more than three times. Hold down volume, hit power. I'm actually going to let go. I'm not even going to hold them down this time. Like I said, whatever method works for you, just get into recovery mode. 
you go. It looks like it went through. All right, now I'm going to hit Control C to stop it, to stop the loop from happening. It's going to ask you, do you want to terminate? You hit yes on the phone. Select the second option. Apply SD card update.zip. It's going to error out. That's fine. Once it gives you that little menu on the top part of the screen. Okay, and I'm going to run the one dot bat. Keep in mind, this is only on my files that I uploaded, so look at the 10 minute video to get these files. Uh, 1.bat is not universal, it's something that I put on my file, so just so you know. Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, on the command.txt from the 10 minute video, there's an ADB push. Okay, so I'm going to select the second option. Once a meter loads in the bottom, hit enter. It's done. Okay, and I'm going to go into ADB shell. Okay. SU for super user. Okay. Now, uh, second, uh, well, the second thing I just said, get into recover mode. That's fine. Now copy this third command. It's from number three. It's this really, really long command. Copy it. Paste. That went through fine. What this option is going to, okay, now I'm going to copy the one that's on bulletin four. What this one's going to do, it's going to copy the BC. Uh, M file from your SD card into the correct uh, path or the correct directory. The command, what the command did pro um, before that was actually backed up your original file that way, just in case you want to go back. Uh, what? Oh, I'm sorry, I copied the four. <laughs> when you're copying and pasting, make sure you don't copy the bulletins, so the bullet numbers and stuff, so that, that's fine. Okay, now it's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an ls. What this ls command is going to do, it's actually going to li list the the, uh, the files in this directory, and that's fine. There should be two files. One should end with like original or um, org, and the other one shouldn't. Now sync it, and then just do a reboot. Uh, the reboot command's not there. You have to actually have to type in system bin reboot. So sorry about that. All right, it's going to reboot the phone. It's going to reboot the phone now. Alright, there you go. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so what the first thing you had to do was place that file on the SD card, then get into recovery mode, then follow command 3, which what command 3 is going to do, it's going to get the original file, the bcm4329.ko file that's located in your system lib modules, and it's going to basically rename it to another file. And then once you place the card, the file that's on your SD card, that bcm4329.ko file that I, yeah, I told you to place on your SD card earlier. It's going to move that one to the system.lib. Um, sorry, not system. The system slash lib slash modules folder. So it just, all those commands it was uh, backed up your original file and then moved the file from your SD card onto the, the correct path. Okay, once it boots up, and it goes, ah, sorry, let's go, settings, wireless, Wi-Fi, and look at right there, connected. And if I go on my computer, I don't know if you can see it or not, you probably can't, sorry for the poor focusing, you probably can't read that though. No, you can't read it, but it actually says right here, it says wireless N only. So there you go, that's a video on how to enable wireless N. All right, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, if you want, just, uh, you know, say thanks on the forums, or uh, just rate my videos on YouTube, or and subscribe to it if you want. I mean, I don't really release that many, but that's fine. Have a good day. Bye.